Hi everybody, it's Jeff and Nikki from Nightshade Nook Decor. So we are getting ready to pour a new cutting board. So we are using the Wise Bond Deep Pour Epoxy and the My Spring <laughs> Imperial Emerald, which is from their Geode collection. So we haven't used this color before, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. I keep thinking it looks bluish because the packaging is blue. Yeah, um, it does look bluish. We're hoping it's really going to be green because it is called emerald after all. We'll see. It does actually look green when it hits the... Uh, Otherwise we're going to have a really blue cutting board, which yeah. is fine. I like blue. I'm good with that. So we have the board already set in the Exotherm Custom Design No Seal Reusable Cutting Board form. And Jeff is going to mix up this color so we can see what it looks like. Ah, so far we've been very happy with all the My Spring colors. This one's interesting. It's, it's like bluish green. And in the center it looks kind of navy -ish. Yeah, it sort of reminds me of um, mermaid dust a little bit. Yeah. It's like deep ocean mermaid dust. Right. Well, this is not at all what you were expecting. Mm -hmm. But I like it. That is a very unique color. Sorry about the noise from the drill. But I wanted to get you guys in here so you could see a, get a good view of the color as the epoxy is changing. I really like this color. And it consistently has many colors in it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes they mix up and you're like, well, this is the color, whatever color that is. But this has got many different sheens in it. Well, I know you were going for a deep emerald green color, but I like this color. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it cures. Yeah, it'll be different. It'll definitely be different. Yeah, because I remember we watched that uh, that video that My Spring has where they show all the colors, and yeah, this looked, one looked really, really green, like a yeah. deep, deep emerald green. So maybe it cures different. You know, a lot of epoxies we've noticed cure differently than they do when they're in the wet form. It's true. So we'll have to see. I'm excited. So it's got a lot of air bubbles in it because he mixed it with the mixer. Um, but you know we'll blow that out once Jeff does the pour. But I think that's a very cool color. Pour some of it out now. All right. It's dark. Wow. I like it. So you're gonna pour down there. So I'm going to move over a little bit so we can get a good view of his pour. We're all our coasters here curing. I did, but I knew you were going to pour that way, and that's what I wanted. So we've got a black walnut slab in here, and that is from uh, Tom at Flower City Milling. So thank you, Tom. That's a very cool color. Yeah, I think I was right. I, I told you it looked blue. It's a blue-green. It's like blue with iridescent green in it. He was saving this. He wouldn't let me use this color. And I'd been dying to use this color for little projects. It has that same uh, scale-like yeah, look to it when it pours that the mermaid dust does. Yeah. I like it. Oh, down there, so cool. As he's pouring, you can see all the little swirls of the blues and the greens together. It is like a spooky deep sea. Mm -hmm. Here, let me um, come down yeah. here and get some more of that green. It's funny because when it's coming from the bucket, it almost looks like it's clear.
So he's just filling in some of the cracks and crevices that we have in the wood. So we won't know, well, we'll have a good idea. Tomorrow will be, it should be dry, tomorrow the next day. But we won't know what this fully looks like for a good week or so. Because once this sets up and everything, you know, then we have to let it cure. And then Jeff runs it through the planer. I mean, cutting boards are way quicker than uh, coasters. I think you need to swirl. <laughs> There's some right on those those orange coasters right there. I'm excited. I think this is going to be a great color. It's not what Jeff was going for, but that's okay. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Wow, it even has like some reds in it. Is that what that is? No. no. What is that? It's just a little bit of air floating up. All right. I like it. Yeah, it's a nice color. I see some pretty coasters coming out of this. And the cutting board. Oh, I can't wait till they start making their geode collection in the larger jars. So we don't have to keep buying the little packets. Because the geode collection, I think, just has a lot of really, really cool colors to it. I mean, most of my spring colors are really kind of neat and cool. And we really like using their colors. But the geode collection just is kind of over the top. What do you think? You happy with it? Yeah, that's rolled up so cool. <clears throat> so he's rolled up so we could see all the hues, and then he's just going to blow the air bubbles out. Obviously, these swirls aren't going to stay because it is deep pore epoxy. Um, so if he wants to get that swirl effect, he's going to have to come, come out and swirl it again. Yep. But I like it. It's cool. All right, you have anything else? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, thank you guys for your... <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and share our videos. That's what's been helping us grow. And you guys have a great day.